It's Ice Cube kicking things off on Smells Like 90s. Hi! Hi! It's Sheila Hot Toddy and DJ Pork. You on over there, Pork? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, good. Everything's working tonight. That's good. It's good times. Wonderful news. Oh, no, this this officially broke off. I'm shocked and I'm sad. Can you hear me? No, I can hear you just fine. Yes. I'm just relishing in the glory of my microphone. Yeah, at least yours can come off. That's right. Yours is yours is not only on there, but is drilled in there. That's why I talk Yay. for the way <laughs> the microphone than possible. That's understandable. Uh, I can I can get to my microphone and it's not a problem. I Everything don't is fine. Trust Everything is great. People in the station to have like non diseases. Uh, well, there is no guarantee. Non uh, diseases. D- any no disease. Said. Any disease whatsoever. Okay. Um. So when you when you're trying to adopt a dog, do they? Did they do that like weird question thing when you're trying to drop a child? Like, what do you believe in? What is your? What are your beliefs? What's your life philosophy? What's your life kind philosophy? Kind of because it was like, um, uh, what or how long will you give your new pet to adjust to the house? And I'm like, seriously? what do you mean? Yeah, like forever, a life. I literally yeah. wrote a lifetime. We believe in forever homes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like when the dog comes like, here, it's gonna live here. It has 72 hours. If it does not adjust in that 72 hours, it's on on the street then again. Out it goes. Like what if it bites you in those 72 hours? You teach it not to. You teach it not to. Yeah, it's, it's an yeah. adjustment period. But if it's, I mean, if it's like a rabid, insane, do- okay, that's a different story. It doesn't have rabies. But it doesn't have rabies. I'm I'm, I don't mean actual rabies. I'm just saying if the dog is like insane, evil, that's a different story. Mm-hmm. But the if the dog is docile but got scared and bit someone or got mad and bit someone, that's a different story. It's fine. I mean, my house has old enough individuals in it to where like we know how not to get bit yeah we don't have like you know a toddler that's gonna go and pull a dog's ears even still though well you can't the a baby kind of has to be born into that dog mm-hmm. there's a better way to say that born into the dog yeah it's there's a better way to put that but you know what i'm saying for the dog to be like i i, I love this kid i i i must look after this kid mm-hmm. it can do whatever it wants pull my ear whatever yeah. type thing uh, but if it's the other way around, you bring the dog in, yeah, to the toddler, that's probably a different story. What yes. we're talking about here is Sheila's trying to adopt a dog, mm-hmm. and people being pansies. And, and, and fingers crossed, because, like, I filled <coughs> out the questionnaire. Yeah. Let's just see if it happens. Yep. Like, I mean, to me, if I wanted any animal to live well beyond its expected life expectancy, y- yeah. y- y- I would fork y- it over to y- me y- right away. give you the dog, yeah. Mm-hmm. This, folks, this is simple. Simple math. I mean, all of our geriatric dogs are like, <laughs> they live quite long. and uh, To the point of where they're peeing in the house and you have to sleep in a chair. I don't, boy, that wasn't related to that. that wasn't related. And they weren't peeing in the house as in a diety. <laughs> you had to put diapers on them. Yes. Literal diapers. Yes. That you had to actually kind of fashion yourself because there's no such thing as a dog no, diaper. No, there are dog diapers. It's just really expensive. Okay. You got you got a human diaper and you cut out a little hole for the tail. Exactly. Oh, Lord. It's not their fault when they lose their control of themselves when they get that old. But, but that's usually a bad sign when they're doing that. For a human, it just means, eh, you're getting old. We'll get you some depends, everything about. But for a dog, it's like, yeah, hey, you're gonna stay outside a little longer. Yeah, than usual. Then, then, then usual. I think they walked quite often. Uh, well, it's 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 different for dogs. Does it smell bad? It depends. I mean, that's why I just had the dighty. That was my, that was my little joke. Sorry. I just dighty them. No. But um, psh- the, the depends. But that should just show how much I love the pets. Enough to put dieties on them. That's that's what happened after that joke. Sorry. Continue. I said it just showed how much I love them to put dieties on them. <coughs> sure. That's right. It's, um... I mean, other people, because it is like a hassle, they'd be like, alright, you're too old now, you gotta go. But I let all of my animals live Yeah, you until it was time. Hard earned money on regular human diapers and then you cut holes for mm-hmm. the tail. 
And you're getting miles out of these animals. You're getting miles out of these animals. Do you, I think you would you would die for your animals, and yeah, maybe we maybe we should take the next elevator, honey. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. Wait, what? <laughs> just, I just said. It's just check. I was going down the list of of uh, check the next take the next elevator. Oh, honey. What are we talking about? You don't get humor. What are we talking about? Oh God! I shouldn't have to explain the jokes. That means they're not good jokes if you have to explain them. Sheila got it. She laughed. I followed. Yeah. yeah. Was I was saying it was weird that. about all the things that she does for the dogs, and then I ended it with maybe we should take the next elevator, honey, because this crazy lady. and Get it? Oh. Ow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. There we go. That's two for two, zero. Sad. Oh, for I mean, I, I, I count that at least a half because you laughed. Yeah, that's true. 